Hello Foodtube, my name is Tommy Myers and I am passionate about spices and Mexican food and today I am cooking tostadas with the best ever guacamole garnished with bugs. Not just any old bugs, chapulines to you, grasshoppers from Mexico. They are delicious, crunchy, roasted with a slight aroma of tea maybe, delicious in a tostada. The thing about guacamole is it's just like a Mexican salsa. Everyone has their own way of making it. You can make it with tomatoes, without tomatoes, with garlic, without garlic. You can make it runny or chunky or smooth. This one is my favorite version. First of all, a clove of garlic. Pinch of salt for flavor. And start bashing it up. Into a paste, three seconds. Now for the coriander, chopped up stalks going into my guacamole. And of course, a bit of chili. Doesn't have to be too hot. Maybe you don't want it too hot. I'm just gonna add the end in. Chop it up roughly. A little bit of chili in the base of the guacamole. So all that flavor permeates the whole of the salsa. So that is a completely smooth, lovely green, vibrant colour. Now for the avocado. These are very ripe avocados. Get the stone out and then just scoop out the flesh into the pestle and mortar. So I just want to gently work it into all that chilli and coriander and garlic. Just gently work it in. So I've got my avocados worked down to a paste. I'm going to add some chopped red onion for acidity, for crunch, texture, flavour. I'm going to add some chopped coriander, just roughly chopped. Chilli. Now we've got some chilli again in the base, but we want a bit of chilli to crunch onto. There we are. And add as much or as little as you want. And if you really are scared of heat, just take the seeds out. In goes the chilli. Now, the three main components of any guacamole, it has to have avocado, it has to have fresh lime, it has to have coriander. So I need to add lots of lovely lime. In it goes. Delicious. Pinch more salt. And give it a good stir. And that is the guacamole. I'm going to taste it for seasoning. Mm. That's absolutely spot on. I'm not going to add anything else. Mm. Delicious. So there we are. Now we're going to build the tostadas. Now tostadas are essentially a corn tortilla fried until it's crisp. So if you can't get hold of a corn tortilla, just use pita bread. Whiz it with olive oil, bake it in the oven till it's crisp. Perfect. And I'm going to add lovely, generous amount of guacamole, mm, so good. In fact, did you know that the word guacamole comes from the word guac, which is the Nahuatl word for avocado, the stem of which is a Nahuatl word for testicle, because avocados were a symbol of virility in ancient Mexican times. So there we are. We want a little bit of Lancashire cheese to just crumble on. Lancashire is just like the fresh, unaged cheeses you get in Oaxaca, in Mexico. A little bit of that red onion for crunch, for texture, for sweetness, and then of course, our insects. So in Mexico, you wouldn't think twice about eating insects. You can have crickets, grasshoppers, roast worms, ants, eggs are my favorite, Mexican caviar, delicious. These are some grasshoppers from Oaxaca Market, the state of Oaxaca, and I'm just gonna crumble them on to my tostadas. And they're gonna give it a lovely, roasted, smoky, robust flavor. It's just gonna be delicious. And we'll probably need to garnish these with a whole grasshopper on each one. There we go, little guy. So there we are, garnish it with the lime, and job done. There are insects, classic Oaxacan dish. Mm. 
creamy guacamole. Lovely tang from the Lancashire and that wonderful roasted flavour from Insects. And if you like my insect tostadas, don't forget to click on the thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe. Mmm, bugs.